We've been um, uh, together this afternoon discussing uh, what better aid for agriculture and rural development should look like. Um, what are the main messages that, um, that I've learned from uh, this afternoon discussions? Well, first of all, that we need to understand better what uh, aid to agriculture, rural development and food security is about. And there's two difficulties, with, uh, three difficulties with that, drawing from the research we've been doing for the donor platform for rural development. The first one is that, um, and this is not new news to anyone, the agriculture sector is very complex. It's very difficult to uh, come together with a, a clear policy a united vision on uh, what support to the sector should look like. And because of this, there are inconsistencies uh, across donors on the way that the sector is perceived and the problems in the sector are perceived. And uh, our work um, uh, for the platform, um, PKP1 and 2, reveal that. Um, the other problem that follows from this is that uh, there are flaws in the system uh, for measuring aid to, uh, to this policy domain. Um, it's, uh, it's very difficult to get cross donor coherence on uh, what uh, uh, aid to the sector uh, comprises, the scope of the sector, and therefore global systems for uh, monitoring trends on aid to this uh, huge policy domain uh, reveal, reveal uh, serious limitations. Um, the significant changes that have occurred over the past decades in um, the nature of support to the sector uh, are not really reflected in the way that uh, aid to this area is being measured. And that's, that's a major limitation uh, for not only for transparency and accountability purposes, but also uh, to the objective of establishing a, a results-based framework for, for monitoring the quality of assistance. The third is issue is that um, that came clearly uh, out of the discussions today is that aid in the conventional sense, uh, aid from uh, OECD um, member states is only a, a small part of what's happening in the in the agriculture sector. There's uh, a, an unknown quantity of resources being provided by non-traditional donors um, and, and there's also a significant amount of uh, resources coming from the private sector either domestically or from uh, foreign direct investment. We don't know enough about these transactions, but they clearly count. They are quite significant. They are, uh, they are uh, one of the study reveals the uh, largest components of support to, to this sector, and therefore they need to be brought into the equation if we want to uh, understand what, how, uh, how, how aid could be more effective. Um, what implications from this? One, that uh, we need to take measurement seriously, not only measurement of uh, aid flows uh, flowing to the sector, but also measurement of uh, what sort of uh, results they generate on the ground, and be able to link to link the two. Um, and secondly, neither uh, donors need to, to get out of their cage and uh, engage more with the changing um, reality of international development, the, the fact that uh, there's um, um, private sector actors working uh, on commercial purposes or working as uh, philanthropic organizations and non-official donors that are increasingly play, play, play an important role and should be brought, brought into the, the policy debates. And that's, that's what the platform should be uh, looking at.